Hey everyone, it's Tyler Strike from Universal Rackets and this is going to be an amazing video because in this video, we're going to go over what to do and the reasons why your balls go long. Once again, if you are ever hitting a drive and your drive goes out, if you're ever hitting a drop and your drop goes too high, if you're ever hitting return and your return goes out, if you're hitting a dink and your dink goes too high, if your volley goes long every single time, if your serve goes long and you can't keep it in the court, then this video is for you. We're going to be going over all the tips and all the tricks to keep your ball in the court and to have you not miss long. Once again, if you watch this whole video, you're going to learn all the tips and all the tricks and all the reasons why when you hit your pickleball is going long and out of the court. So we're going to start off with the number one shot and that is what serving because with serving you have to start the point players they miss their serves long for two main reasons reason number one is because they grip their paddle super tight now a lot of players what are they doing they're new to pickleball they're just trying to get the ball in i'm just trying to get the ball in so they have a death grip they just try to get the ball in they hold the paddle super tight and their ball goes super long if you miss the ball long frequently, I want you to think, are you holding the paddle tight or loose? In pickleball, to gain control, you have to give up control. The more you let the paddle work for you and the less you work for the paddle, you, the better you're going to be and the more consistency you will have, right? So what I mean by that is hold your paddle loose on a scale one to 10, 10 being tightest, one being the loosest, make sure you are two or a one, and that's going to allow the ball to go in. Now, to go on top of that, just trying, trying, trying to get the ball in. That's what everyone does, and that's why they end up missing long. They end up stopping at contact. Remember, in pickleball to gain control, you have to give up control. I want you to say that to yourself over and over and over again. Players try to get the ball in. They slam the brakes. And by going like this, or rather go, than going like that, is going to be ball going out versus ball going in. If you stop at contact and you don't follow through, your ball could go long. If you're holding the paddle loose, but still you're stopping, it's going to go long. You have to fully extend and let your paddle go. For a beginner intermediate player, let the tip of your paddle pointing to your target. For a more advanced player, then you can follow through. Again, if you're a beginner intermediate player, you want to point the tip of the paddle towards your target. For a more advanced player, you want to fully follow through. Now, the next thing that you can do to keep your balls in is just aim for the middle of the court. Aim for the middle of the court. I want you to think that there is a big center target here. You could put a center target and think, keep it simple, okay? When you start missing long, I want you to make more margin for error. So make it more simple. Stop trying to be so precise and just aim to the middle of the court or the middle of the box and envision that there's a target and you're going to be so much better off. Now, the reasons why players miss their drives and return super long is again, number one, they're holding the paddle too tight. You need to be super loose. Number two, they're stopping at contact. They're not following through. Again, by just trying to get the ball in, if you just try to get the ball in by stopping at contact or holding the paddle super tight for your serve or your returns or drives, the only thing you can do is slow down your shot to allow gravity to work and bring the ball in. If you want to hit any harder or any type of ball or any effective ball, rather than the ceiling that you have of just stopping at contact and just trying to get the ball again, you're going to hit a ceiling and you're not going to be able to get better, is you have to make sure you fully follow through and you fully let that paddle do the work. Let the paddle work for you, not work for the paddle. You want to let your money work for you. You want to let your golf clubs want to work for you. You want to let your paddle work for you. So again, be loose and fully follow through. For the forehand, I want you to think your elbow pointing up or your butt cap pointing towards wherever you're hitting. For the backhand, I want both your elbows up or if you're a one-hander, left side of the letter V. If you're a right-hander, look, I'm making a left side of letter V. For lefty, here we are, right side of the letter V. Okay, make sure you follow through. Now the next thing, you need to make sure, and this is the reason why players miss their drives and their returns long is because they're picking their body up or they're picking your head up. And this is what I mean. Players, they're trying to see if the return, if their drives in, okay? So they're going like this and they're going like this. Look, one more time. They're going like this and they're going like this. Again, when they're hitting either the body and their head or one of them is going up and they're lifting their head up and they're lifting their body up. I want you to keep your body down and forward. You want your body down and forward. If you feel like you're holding the paddle loose, you're following through, but you're moving up, 
the ball's going to go long. So make sure to keep your body down and forward and you're going to keep your drives and your returns in. Again, when I hit, I wanna make sure my head is down and my body's facing forward. I want you to think that if there was a laser shining from my chest, I could, it would shine out, you could roll a pencil down it. It would be an incline like this. So again, make sure you keep your body down and forward. Now, going on top of that is balance. You need to make sure that you keep your body balanced throughout your shot. Many players, they miss long because their center of gravity is all out of place. They're hitting and they're falling out of their shots. I need to drop my center of gravity. I need to get in my legs. If I'm six feet tall, I want to be five feet tall. And I want to keep my body balanced when I hit. Even if I'm moving forward, I want my body's equilibrium okay. I want my body to have balance when I hit. So try to have balance when you hit for your shots and you're gonna be so much better off. The next thing, okay, players are shortening it up. They're shortening their drives and their returns. What are they doing? They're not finishing their shot. They're hitting and they're thinking about getting to the next shot. I want you to think that you're gonna go, you're gonna hit, you're gonna finish your shot and then you're going to move forward. You need to finish your first shot before your next shot. Again, I like to say for pickleball, for your drives or returns, you wanna hit, you wanna finish, you wanna smile for the camera, and then you wanna move forward. Same thing for the backhand. I wanna hit, I wanna finish, I wanna smile for the camera, and then I want to move forward. You wanna make sure, again, you always finish your shot before you go to the next ball. So when I hit, again, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna finish my shot, and then I'm going to move to the next ball. For my forehand, here we are, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna finish my shot, and then I am going to go to the next ball. So we're gonna make sure, again, we're finishing our next shot before we move to the next ball. Now, for the drops, again, you need to make sure you're loose, you need to make sure that you fully follow through, and the next thing, the reason why your drops are going too long is probably because you're doing a, too big of a swing, or B, you're moving your wrist. I want you to think from your, for your drop, you're going from here to here. Once again, if you wanna hit a good drop, you wanna go from here to here. You're not moving your wrist. You're not flipping burgers. You're not sought paying omelets, okay? You're here, here. You're pushing rather than hitting. The next reason why you're missing your drops is because you are bending at your waist and you're not getting into your legs. That's the reason why your drops are going too high. Get into your legs and get low to high, lift the ball rather than hit and swing at the ball and that's going to help keep your drops into the court. If you're ever hitting your drops again super high, they're going quote unquote long, which means out of the kitchen in this case because I don't know how you're gonna miss a drop super long out of the court is what? Hold the paddle loose, make sure you follow through, keep a push rather than a swing. Don't use your wrist, don't saute, don't fry whatever you're doing, and make sure you get into your legs and go up and keep your body balanced, keep a foundation, and that's going to transform your game. Now we're going to go up to the net and we're going to be talking about our dinks, keeping them in the kitchen not long, and we're going to be going over our volleys. Now, the dinks. For the dinks, what you have to do is you need to make sure that you always keep your wrist down again kind of like the uh, drop you want to be pushing forward the drop and the dink there's the same mechanics except there's more distance you have to cover for the drop so again you want to go forward you don't want to be moving your wrist you don't want to bend at your waist you want to get in your legs and you want to keep it simple you want to push you don't want to swing and you don't want to hold the paddle super tight and your balls aren't going to go long now for the volleys what you need to do is a you need to make sure that you're swinging down if the ball is high if you are hitting the ball low, you need to make sure that you play with spin and you play with gravity. We'll start out with high balls. Players miss high balls long because they swing forward and they don't swing down. If the ball's ever high and your paddle tip is up or diagonal, you have to make sure when you finish, your paddle tip is down. You need to swing down on the ball rather than forward. So players miss their volleys long because what? They're swinging with their paddle forward or they're opening their paddle. You need to close your paddle and when your paddle tips up, you need to make sure you finish it down once you're done. You need to snap your wrist. The next reason why is players are perfecting their shots too much. If you ever get a high ball, I want you to aim for the center of the court. And I don't mean just the center of the court, I mean the actual center like here where that ball is going, okay? By aiming closer into the court, it's going to tr transform your game and you're never gonna miss your high put away volley long again. Again, so anytime that I hit a put away volley, 
I'm aiming for the center of the court. By aiming for the center of the court, again, I will never miss my volley long ever again. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do for my low shots, okay, if I'm hitting an aggressive ball below the net, either volley or a speed up, players, they try to go big. They try to go at 100% and their ball ends up going long. You need to utilize spin and gravity. The only two things to keep your ball staying in the court when you're hitting from below the net is spin and gravity or accuracy when you go right at your opponent, but it may go long. But we are doing what? We're doing spin and gravity. So if you wanna keep your speed ups or your low volleys in the court, you can't go fast. You need to play with gravity and spin. If 100% power is this, I need to go at 50 or 60% power to allow the gravity and spin to get into it. By allowing gravity and allowing spin to go into my speed ups or into my aggressive volleys, that's going to allow myself to keep the ball in the court. So once again, if you guys use all these tips and all these tricks for your ground strokes, your drives, your serves, your returns, your drops, your volleys, your putaways, you are going to keep the ball in the court, you're never gonna miss long again, and you're going to win many more points. The last thing that I wanna leave every single person is never make the same mistake three times in a row. So if you miss two balls long, where's the next ball gonna go? The ball's going to go in the net. Pickleball is constantly about adjustments from here on out. If you're watching this whole video, you will never miss the ball long three times in a row. If you miss ball long two, then the next shot you're gonna hit right into the net because it's all about adjustments. You miss long, you miss in the net, then you're gonna find a happy medium and you're gonna win more points. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna learn why you're hitting every single ball and how to keep every ball out of the net, make sure to click the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Have a good one, happy hitting, and we will see you guys next time on court.